So in our previous checkpoint, we talked about how stem cells are unique from other cells in our body. And now we'll continue to talk about the two main types of stem cells. There are two distinct types of stem cells and each type has different properties, which we'll go into more detail later on. The first type of stem cells is the embryonic stem cell. Embryonic stem cells are taken from the blastocyst, which basically is just a ball of cells that developed from the zygote after the fourth or the fifth day of fertilization. This type of stem cell is usually taken from eggs that have undergone in vitro fertilization, and obviously with the consent from the couples who are undergoing infertility treatment. We usually don't take them from eggs fertilized within the woman's body. And so looking at our blastocyst, it consists of three parts, namely the inner cell mass, the trophoblast, and the blastocyst cavity. In a fertilized egg, the inner cell mass will develop into the fetus, while the trophoblast will develop into the placenta and other supporting tissues. Embryonic stem cells are isolated from the inner cell mass, which are then cultured in the lab. And now, before we continue, I would like to introduce you to two new terminologies. First up, Pluripotent. If we describe a cell as pluripotent, this means that the cell has the ability to differentiate into all the various cell types that make up an organism, but it is unable to form the entire organism. If it helps, just think about it as the whole, comprising of more than just the sum of its parts. And now, let's talk about totipotency. If we describe a cell as being totipotent, this means that the cell has the ability to differentiate into any cell type in the body plus the extra embryonic tissue, such as the placenta, that nourishes the embryo. To put it simply, this refers to a cell that is able to form an entire organism on its own. For instance, a fertilized egg is a type of totipotent stem cell as your entire organism pretty much emerges from the egg alone after numerous division processes. Cells produced in these few first few divisions of the fertilized egg are also considered totipotent. So, now that you know these terminology, returning back to our embryonic stem cells, are they pluripotent or totipotent? If you said pluripotent, you are right. Embryonic stem cells are isolated from just the inner cell mass of the blastocyst, the trophoblast, which gives rise to the placenta and its supporting structures, is not involved. And hence, your inner cell mass alone cannot form an entire viable organism as the trophoblast gives rise to the placenta and supporting tissues, which are also needed for fetal survival and development. This is why embryonic stem cells are pluripotent. They are capable of differentiating into all varieties of cell types within the organism, but are unable to form the entire organism on its own. At this end of the at the end of this checkpoint, you should be able to talk about where embryonic stem cells came from, differentiate between totipotency and pluripotency, as well as explain why stem cells are pluripotent. 